Hey guys, Mr. Asiatic here. Uh, I want to do a review on um, another YouTuber that goes by the name of Gunsmith USA about the trigger fix on the Sigma. Um, I want to share with you guys my thoughts after trying it and doing it myself and not knowing much about this weapon um, and being able to do it easily um, with only a small tiny screwdriver that can punch the pin out and a, and a hammer. So um, I want to do a review on this real quick and uh, hopefully uh, he'll accept my uh, video on his page uh, for all you non-believers or some of you guys that are a little hesitant or some of you guys that don't really know how to work on a handgun. Uh, I was always a rifle guy. This is my first time uh, working on a handgun and it was easy. Uh, so let me safety check it for you first. Um, so here's the mag. Um, and there's nothing in the, the chamber. So, what this, uh, what it was, if some of you Sigma owners, this is a 40 VE, just so you know, um, some of you Sigma owners know the deal about the trigger. I didn't think it was that bad. It wasn't that, it really wasn't that bad. I was able to hit accurately with it. My wife went to the range with me, and, uh, this was her first time shooting a handgun, and, uh, she did it, she did it fine. She actually did a little bit better than me. Don't tell her that. But, um, so I want to do a review on this. So let's get started. Basically, Gunsmith USA did a review on how to fix the trigger. Um, to make it not as stiff and it shaves about, I'd say about half of what it normally is. So, uh, now it's just, now that's a safety check. I'm going to tear the slides off. So basically how you do that is you keep it back just a tad bit. These two levers here. You just pull it down all right so basically what it was I'm not gonna do the full review on how to do it you can check out his page I don't want to troll and take his stuff but you take that off and there's a pin um, two two springs that you take out one's a pigtail and one is an, uh, another spring on top of another spring that you don't necessarily need um, trigger pull for me was 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 okay um, I had no complaints with it at, I mean, I had no complaint. I mean, it is what it is. I knew it when I bought it, and um, I knew it when I bought it, and it was it wasn't as bad as I thought as everybody was saying it was. Also, people say it's gritty. I didn't really get that feeling. It was a little gritty, a little bit compared to some of the more expensive guns, but you know, it's Sigma, so. But these are good guns. Um. So, he did that. You can check his video on how to do that. Good instructions. Um, good instructions. It worked good. It shaved about half the pound, half half of the weight off the trigger. It was re it really feels nice. It really does. Um, and I took it to the range. I had no reliability issues with it. That was the one thing I was worried with. So make sure you keep your springs as he stated, just in case you want to bring it back to stock. Just in case you have a problem with it. I didn't, and a couple other people that commented on his page didn't. I want to say thank you. Uh, great video. Um, so basically I did that worked out good. And also what I did was I polished the feed ramp. This part, goes right down the barrel. I polished that, sanded it down and, um, uh, and polished it with some good old mother's polish. And that's one thing that'll make your, uh, handgun really reliable. I've heard about people doing it with Glocks and I think it all a lot of people do it with high points, but this is not a high point. It's a lot different than a high point. The pull is nicer with this. It it's it's really it's a lot more enjoyable. It's a lot more enjoyable. It's not hard to do. The springs getting it back on is a little harder. Um but anybody with a little tad bit of mechanical knowledge can do it. You don't need any tools but a little puncher and a hammer if you don't even need a hammer if you can get the the um, I don't know what to call it I'm sorry the uh, the pin out sorry uh, I had problems taking my pin out so I just used the hammer with a punch and just hammered it out there um and I also polished uh, some of the trigger parts like I said I'm not gonna take it apart because I don't want to throw off his video but the parts that he takes out of the trigger can be sanded down with a regular nail filer 
and polished uh, with some mother's polish. Uh, I just used car wax. <laughs> Worked fine for me. But it really took some of that. Some, I didn't really have a lot of greediness, but it did take some of that greediness out. Just make sure it's unloaded. Now, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. It breaks nice and clean. It's consistent. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. And I can, let me, I want to point out my webcam so you can see the steadiness. My hands are a little shaky, but the steadiness of it. Before, it would kind of kind of lean and stuff, and that's why a lot of Sigma owners complain about shooting low to the left, which is a common symptom of an um, uh, inconsistent trigger pull or a heavy one where you're sh consistently shaking it while you're uh, shooting. But if you can see, I mean, I have really shaky hands, so that's good. I practice a lot in the mirror, and uh, it hasn't shaken that much at all. And if you want to see the trigger pull one more time, it doesn't really take care of how long the trigger pull is, but it cuts it into about half. I'd say half. I know it's a big difference, and now I'm used to it, so it's not really, I can't really remember what it used to be like. I know it was rough, though, but it's definitely not as bad now. And I noticed my grouping shrunk consistently. So that's one thing that I want to stick up for him and make a, I noticed he didn't really have a review of anybody that did it. And um, a lot of gunsmiths won't touch the Sigma, saying that the trigger is not fixable and so on and so forth and also you can buy a, a wolf striker spring for this but it, you know i bought i was on my 10 day wait because i'm in california so it was, i had to wait 10 days for it so to get over my hurt and pain i was buying stuff like mags ammunition bags and uh i ran across these wolf striker springs said it uh takes it down three and a half pounds so I was like, okay. So I read the reviews. There was a whole lot of reviews. So I read like the first page, and they were all great, 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 great. When you get to the second page on Midway USA, it's like failed to fire. Uh, it didn't. It didn't strike as hard. Um, you know, it would shoot every other round. So I was like, eh, it's not worth it to me. Especially if this is your only handgun. Like I said, the rest of my stuff is storage. I'm in the process of moving, so it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. So. Um, if this is your, especially if it's your only handgun, it's not worth it. Okay, trust me. But Gunsmith USA, um, it it works, and it's and it and it, hell, it, it works. I didn't have any problems at first. I tested it here. I don't have any 40 caliber shells. I save on my tw uh, my 223. Don't have any uh, 40 caliber. 223 doesn't really fit as well, but it will fire. So let me show you guys real quick um, how that looks. As you can see, I'm sorry I have to use 223. I did not save any of my 40 cal shells. I was really lazy. So let me put this down the barrel. Oh. All right. And as you guys can see, they're already fired. So there's one hole on there. It's one hole. It's not. It's not. It's not a live round. So what I like to do is just throw it down the barrel like that. And. Uh, you can see that it actually hit. If you can see over there to the left hand side of it, it actually did hit. And some rounds will actually shoot, out. some uh, casings will actually shoot out the barrel. Um, so it, it does strike. And that's one thing I suggest if you guys have snap caps or empty rounds that will fit down there, regardless of the caliber, just put them down there. Or rack the slide, put them down there, and just shoot them. Okay, make sure they're not live rounds. Just always double check because sometimes I mix my. I almost did that the other day. I had a two, two, three round in there that was a live round. I went to when I went to right when I got done with it. I was all excited. I was like, man, I want to see if it really dents. So I put it down there, and I was like, oh, that's a live round. So you always want to make sure that it's not a live round. Double check, triple check, do what you gotta do. Better safe than sorry. But it, it hits consistently. It's not making such a big dent on this because it's not the right round. And a rifle striker is, is, is harder than a handgun. 
So I advise you guys to try that out. You Sigma owners, try that out and uh, give it give it a shot if, and take it to the range. And uh, it will make this gun a lot more enjoyable. It definitely has for me. And, uh, you know, and I've only had a couple hundred rounds through this, so it hasn't really softened up as much as it should be. But it's real crisp. It's not spongy. It is still long. But it's not as hard. I can deal with the longness. But, the, you know, how hard it is, if you guys want to change that, uh, definitely look at Gunsmith USA's page. Follow his instructions. If you have any questions, ask him. Or if you want to ask me, then ask me. Thanks, guys, for watching. Enjoy your coconut juice. See you on the next video.